ஹாய் ஹலோ வணக்கம் அண்ட் வெல்கம் டு நெதர் எபிசோட் ஆன் லிட்டில் ஸ்லா யூடியூப் சேனல் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி வில் சி அபவுட் வாட் இஸ் அ ஃபயர் வால் அண்ட் வாட் இஸ் அன் ஆன்டி வைரஸ் அண்ட் வாட் இஸ் தி டிஃப்ரென்ஸ் பிட்வீன் அ ஃபயர் வால் அண்ட் அன் ஆன்டி வைரஸ் அண்ட் பிஃபோர் வி மூவ் ஆன் டு தி வீடியோ ஐ வெல்கம் யூ ஆல் ஒன்ஸ் அகைன் டு லிட்டில் ஸ்லா யூடியூப் சேனல் ப்ளீஸ் டோன்ட் ஃபர்கெட் டு சப்ஸ்கிரைப் டு அவர் சேனல் லைக் கமெண்ட் அண்ட் கொஸ்டின் யூர் அண்ட் சென்ட் யூர் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் in the comment section so first let us see what is a firewall a firewall is a hardware or a software or it can be a combination of both that provides protection and secures the computer or the network of computers so how does it protects the computer what does it do the, the firewall basically filters the ip packet which is sent from the external unauthorized network to the computer and this protection that the firewall gives us is so strong that it allows only legitimate and authorized users to access the system and in this way firewall protects the computers so this firewall is a network security technology that works as a shield between an internal network and external sources such as the internet detecting and blocking digital data that do not follow its regulations and today in this internet era the firewall plays a major role in protecting our systems and machines so when we hear about protection we could recollect about or we could think about antivirus so what does an antivirus do and what is the difference between the firewall and antivirus so let's see what is an antivirus and what does it do so antivirus is a type of software that protects the computer from harmful viruses and malware from diverse resources diverse sources i would say so in most cases a firewall will not be able to defend a system from a harmful virus that might interrupt the system but the antivirus which is installed on the computer ensures that this element will take care of the security so now let's see the difference between the firewall and antivirus so as i already told you so firewall is a security network that can either be a hardware or it can be a software or it can be a combination of both hardware and software but it is meant to protect the computer systems and networks from harmful intrusions in the other hand antivirus is a software application that protects the system against internal attacks such as viruses trojan horses spyware so when we talk about firewall firewall is referred to as a packet filter because it examines all the incoming data packets for potentially malicious information on the other hand the antivirus scans for vulnerabilities in the computer system and makes the necessary adjustments to strengthen the system's defenses against attack for the most part the firewall's job is to keep an eye on the network traffic and prevent any unauthorized users from accessing the system but the primary role of antivirus is to search monitor identify prevent and eradicate any ex- existential danger to the computer system when it comes to firewall it protects against any unauthorized invasion at the network protocol level but the antivirus will simply check the system for any potential dangers like virus worms trojan horses and one of the firewalls drawback is that it cannot prevent internal assaults or attacks that evade its network coverage but antivirus has the drawback of not being able to check read only files so these are the advantages and disadvantages and the differences between the 
firewall and antivirus so first so now let's see what are the advantages separately so hackers and remote unauthorized accesses are prevented by firewall since it deals with the input packets or the ip packets which reaches the system and its safeguards are information and the privacy and security are the major important factors and it defends our system against trojans and a network based firewall we generally call it as router can protect many systems but a firewall based on operating system can only protect single computers on the other hand the hardware firewalls do not interfere with any of the system functions in this way there will be less system interrupts and the system will work fine with high performance when so let's now see what are the types of firewall so the first type is packet filters and these are also known by the name screening router and screening filter because it decides whether a packet should be forwarded or discarded based on the outputs and we have heard about this ip spoofing and source routing attacks and any small fragment attacks can all compromise the packet filters security and in fact any dynamic packet filters and stateful packet filters are the two complex type of packet filters that are taken care by the firewall when it comes to application gateway which we call it as proxy server so this acts as a proxy or substitute controlling the flow of application level communication while concealing the originating ip from the public and when it comes to the circuit gateway the third type it's identical to an application gateway but it has some more features such as the ability to create a new connection between itself and a distant host and it could also convert the source ip address into packets from the end user's ip address and this is how source's original ip address is hidden so let's now see what are the functions of firewall so firewall acts as an application level gateway and these firewalls carry out deep packet inspection and the packet filtering is the primary function of a firewall and it carries out management functions and the stateful firewalls are different from stateless firewalls in which they are dynamic and in fact there are main so many other factors like risk profile vulnerabilities the criticality of the organizations operational area resources necessary that decides the complexity level of the firewall so firewall has these many functions and advantages so don't they have any limitations yes firewall has one limitation which is it cannot prevent internal attacks so once the trojan or any vulnerability comes inside the system it cannot be prevented so the authorized attacks cannot be identified and prevented by firewalls some software firewalls can affect the performance of the system as it occupies ram resources and consumes more processing power so let's now see about the functions of antivirus what does an antivirus do so antivirus functions include detecting identifying and removing of viruses and this software conducts a detailed analysis of the system and scans the files and programs to detect and identify them followed by deleting the viruses so what are the advantages when it comes to advantages of antivirus so these antivirus protects our system from virus and transmitting them or it prevents from being transmitted and any spams and advertisements are blocked and anti hacking and anti data theft protection is taken care by antiviruses and any protection against threats from gadgets can be removed and data protection is the high priority of the antiviruses and the spyware and phishing attempts are prevented by firewall and the antivirus restrict the websites to ensure more protection and they are cost efficient 
So what are the limitations of antivirus? Only the common interface file system protocol is supported by antivirus and not the NFS file protocol. And it almost, it is impossible for the antivirus to provide protection to files that are being read and written at the same time. This is a major limitation of antivirus and it is impossible to run antivirus software on read-only files. So this is again a major drawback of antivirus. So to conclude, let's see, let's wrap up about the firewall and antivirus. So a firewall protects the software and hardware but antivirus protects only the software and we can simply say that antivirus is an unbiased person who treats all the softwares the same. On the other hand the firewall protects the entering of malicious programs into our system and this serves the same purpose along with removing infected files. And these firewalls secure our computer by preventing vulnerable packets on the port whereas the antivirus eliminates damaged data at the file level. And IP spoofing and routing assaults are two approaches that have the potential to compromise security particularly when it comes to packet filters. And in fact this antivirus however once malware has been purged no counter attacks are available. So with that we come to an end. I believe this video would have been very useful to you. Until we meet you in another interesting video. It's bye bye from Asan Shanmugam and Little Slaw.